Uh, where are you from? Um, here, Spain. Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah, Catalan? Yes. Yeah. And you? Yes, Catalan. But from yeah. here, Barcelona. I'm from Barcelona and Paris. Uh, Barcelona. Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. So where are you from? I'm um, Barcelona. Barcelona. I'm from Barcelona. Yeah, same. Catalans? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I want to ask you simply, do you, have you ever heard or do you know about Kurds or Kurdistan? About what? <laughs> Kurds or Kurdistan, have you heard about that? Ever? Kurdistan, the country. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I know is that it's a country in in Middle East, near from China, I guess. They call all the stand countries. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's part of that. Okay. I do not know. I do not know anything else. Near China? Yeah, I guess. Okay. I don't know. The stand countries, I relate that. That's Where did you hear that? Internet or friends? Or? No, I went in China and they told me that. Uh -huh. um, have you ever heard about Kurds or Kurdistan? <laughs> Pardon. What the... Kurds or, yeah, or Kurdistan? I don't know. What, Kurdistan? What is it? Uh, so, uh, Kurds are people, yes. and Kurdistan is a country, yes, or uh, yeah. I know, I know the country. Uh, what, what do you know about them? Nothing. <laughs> really, nothing. nothing. No. Never. No about. Sorry, repeat. Kurds or Kurdistan? No. Never. No. So you don't know anything about what it is. No. Have you heard about it? Yeah. Yeah. What do you know about it on them? Um. In um, uh, I live in my in Marseille, and I knew um, some Kurds. Uh, how we say? Yeah, Kurds. Kurds. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think um, they are in um, Turkey, in Iraq. That's what I know. Okay, that's all you know. Yeah. All right. Ah, yeah. You heard about them. Yeah. So, what do you know about them? Can you tell me something you know? Uh, I th uh, I don't know how to explain because I don't read a lot about it and I don't want to talk about something that I don't read before because I study journalism so I prefer for ethical not talk about what I don't know. Uh, Kyrgyzstan, yes, Turkey, it's a country near uh, it's not Afghanistan, it's near India, Kyrgyzstan and uh, well there's another country in the middle of Asia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. You also? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What can you tell me about them? Kurdistan. Kurdistan. What can you tell me about them? Not much, really. But I think the first time I heard about it, it's so cheesy, but there was a contestant in on Arab Idol or something, and she was from Kurdistan. That's it. That's okay. how I, I was a kid. That's how I realized there's a country called Kurdistan. Okay. That's it. I don't know if there is this artist who is half Swedish, half half uh, from Kurdistan or not. But I because I know that there is a very famous artist in Scandinavia. He originally comes from like it's like Darin. Darin is full Kurdish actually, but he is born in Sweden. So yeah. Mm, yeah, exactly. I know about him, and I know that he that he even goes on like media outlets in Sweden to talk actively about the political situation over there. Um, I think that's all I can say. Okay. I also think, like, I think I know that, I don't know, there's like a lot of refugees, maybe Syrian borders, yeah. right? Sure. What, yeah, what can you say about them? Uh, few things. What, what do you know? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, heard about it. you heard about it. I don't know how to say it in English because but uh, I think Turkish are really op know, oppressing. Uh, oppressing them. Yeah. It's I don't know much about. It. No. 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 no, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean I know it's a country. <laughs> yeah, in um, like in all the Eastans <laughs> next to yeah. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. I don't know. That's all. <laughs> That's what you know. That's everything I know. <laughs> okay, okay. Can you say anything about it? Not really. Now that it's a country, but... <laughs> <laughs> spoiler! <laughs> From what? What? Kurds or Kurdistan? Kurds. I don't know. Maybe I've heard about it, but I, I, I don't know. I've never heard. Never. Never. So you don't. You can say anything about it? No. <laughs> no. Okay. 
Not Brady. Huh? Hey, what? Kurds or Kurdistan? No. Never? Never in your life heard about it? I don't think so. Okay. So you don't know anything? If I say it's a people, uh, Kurds is a people and Kurdistan is a country, would you say that you can point out on the map where it is? It's more or less Kazakhstan. Near Kazakhstan, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'd say the same. Okay. I don't so, know. Asia? Yeah. yeah. Okay, if I ask you, where in the world do you think it's located? Ah, oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know? No. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Can you tell me anything about them? War. Only war. war. Yes. Okay. I know it's in Asia, like Russia, Kazakhstan, all those countries that I'm in time, I think so. Yeah. I feel so ignorant <laughs> right now, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next to Syria, right? Yeah, sure. Is no, it? yes or no? <laughs> it's in Syria, northern Syria, but it's, okay, in, so I'm not wrong. it's located in, okay. on four countries, in four countries. Okay. Do you know more? No, I just know that there's so many refugees and there's like a, a bit of tension between Syria and Kurdistan. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's sure. what I know. You know anything? I come from that. <laughs> okay. Uh, like South uh, Tur Turkey. South Turkey? Yes. Yeah. The problem, I, I cannot compare with Kurdistan because I don't no. know. But I, I I think it's quite different. Because okay. here the, there is like a certain cultural oppression that it's really different. It's not like military oppression no, no. like yeah. you have. Uh, the, the main so base is because we have a whole different culture than Spain and a lot of people in Spain, they they don't, they, they hate uh, Catalan people just because Franco said that, mm -hmm. a little bit. Generally, if we talk about the global uh, perspective, do you think every people should have the right to decide themselves uh, to be independent or not? I think yes. You think? General, yes. Maybe there is in some context I would say no, but I don't know. Why is it important? It is important. But why? Uh, because I think the, the, the culture of the every village or, or it's a feeling, you know, and it's a tradition and you have to, to be able to have the, the choice of, of discuss with your people and decide with your people and to vote because it's the base of democracy. If not, what is democracy? We cannot perpetuate uh, the monarchy, but just because, you know, it's like tyrannies all over again, yeah, so exactly. fuck it. <laughs> well, I would say just the same. Yeah, I agree. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think it's important to give the people the choice, at least, <laughs> so that they can mm, decide what's best for them, rather than someone that is not living there or that doesn't have all the context or the culture or something like that deciding for them. Well, all that he said and also that we need to be like aware of the oppressions of other, other, I don't know how to say it, other groups or other countries and to be aware of this hierarchy, hierarchy. <laughs> and, and fight for equality and, and, yeah, and our yeah. rights. Yeah, exactly. Like well, what they said, like um, mainly when um, someone's identity, like um, of course the place where you come from, it's a big part of your identity, the language you speak and the culture that you have. Um, when you're when that's taken away from you, um, then it's very hard for these people to have their own sense of identity and also political decisions. So it's good that you have at least the option of knowing if those people want to have to decide for themselves. Um, is it a problem being Catalan in Spain or how is it? I mean, it's a complicated situation because it started like a lot of years ago. The thing in Spain is that there were a lot of different like regions um, and only some of them were like independent many years ago and one of them was Catalonia and Aragon. So we had our own language and our own culture and then with the marriage of Fernando de Aragon and Isabel de Castilla, it got like unified. So the problem is not that, it's that from that point, there has been a lot of points in history where our language and our, um, yeah, our right to decide for ourselves and our traditions have been taken away from us. And um, that's something that has been repeating 
through history. I was very pro-independence before, but right now I don't think, I'm not sure if it's the best option because um, the party that is more pro-independence, it's very, like very right-wing, um, a lot more than my ideas. So um, I think that's a big problem that it has lost a little bit of the meaning of why we want this. But still, um, that has nothing to do with the fact that we should be able to decide if we want to be independent. Because like, I think it's two different problems. Because one is the problem of Spain not letting decide. And the other one is the problem of what, would act, what independence would actually look like. But still, the choice should be there. Would you say that you generally support people's independence? Yes, I support. Uh, but you don't know if you support Kurdistan or do you? No, I, I, I don't, um, I, I can't support a person, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry for my English. If you don't know about it. Yes, yeah. okay. because uh, I don't know what I do for you, wrong exactly. or right, you yeah. know what they say? I understand. This. Of course I support all the kind of freedom. I. I'm Algerian, so uh, I kind of um, now what it means to be uh, uh, how you say pressed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I support all kind of freedom, all kind of human rights. Why is it important? Uh, because it's human right. Because we are human. Mm, most of the time, yes. For instance, Barcelona has its problems with uh, Madrid and all of that. And I think this is a good cause, but I do not know the entire like history. context or history to be part of one side of the other. But in general, yes. And why do you think it's important with that? Because it's freedom, basically. With freedom, you can do whatever you want. It's up to you. But if you do not have freedom, if you don't own your own basic rights, it's difficult to live a good life. I, I support independence uh, from another. Uh, I don't know what's the. Why do you want to be independent? Well, basically, basically because uh, they don't have own country like uh, in after the first world war. Yeah. Uh, a lot of countries became their own country, but Kurdistan missed that opportunity. So it's more about uh, having something for your own. Yes, no, this is the best. Is uh, I'm totally support that. Yeah. Uh, the independence is the best. Uh, to make our own, your own decisions is, is important. Uh, not not someone from another country or from another world, from another exactly. part of the of, of, of the uh, of the world. Doesn't have to make uh, your decisions. Exactly. You have to make your own decisions. Um, I guess self determination. Um, it's a really important thing for people, right? And like being able to determine um, what they want their lives uh, to be like. However, I understand that my opinion uh, should be, you know, that I should base my opinion on like a deep knowledge about uh, the framework, you know, like what is the set of circumstances? What is the political, emotional, uh, s yeah, set, like, what are what are the things that are happening there and like what is the generational trauma behind there there are so so many factors that i should take into account that i guess i personally should take a deeper look into the specific situation in order to be able to get a qualified answer yeah. yes. i mean i would agree to that too but i feel like if there's you said there's 15 million people around the world, 40 50. 40 50 so like there's like that many people and that they all share this idea of like they want to have a land that is like theirs and like for is enough to, to be independent, come on. I'm, I'm still many they are all thinking yeah. the same way. Yeah. I mean, it's like the Israeli state, kind of. Yeah. Of course, we do. Yeah. yeah. Well, why do you think it's important? Well, because, I mean, where I come from, I really believe that it's really important to fight for your, your rights, and we constantly do that. Um, maybe living in Latin America, sometimes it's really hard, mostly because of the economical crisis that we constantly have, so we all the time we fight for our rights and I believe that it's really important to be independent.
is something similar to what happens in Venezuela, maybe because I'm really, um, a lot of people from Venezuela now are living in Argentina, and you, you get to know the reality because of the people and not what they are seeing in the news or in the media. Being Catalans, is it important to uh, have the freedom to decide if you want to be independent or not? You support it? Yes. yes. Why, why is it so important? I think it's, it's our right to, to choose if we want to or not. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing? Yeah. Okay. Generally, would you say that you support people's um, right to be independent? Yes. Uh, what do you mean by independent? Like uh, right now Kurds are living in other countries, you know? Uh, they don't have their own country. They are living under oppression and dictatorship. They want to break out and be free. Yeah. Would you say that generally, not only the Kurdish question, but is it okay or is it... Uh... Like to practice your own uh, culture and have your own beliefs. Yeah. Sure. Without having a country or in another country? In our uh, uh, own country. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think it's important? Uh, at the end, I think you need to be your own, like you need to have your identity because at the end, if everyone is the same, you're not really like uh, going for the, as a society. Or... I'd say like if this culture doesn't have any impact on others in a bad way, there's no reason to prohibit it. Like. Yeah. To, would you, it's maybe hard to say, but would you like say that you support people's um, choice of independence? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So uh, basically like Kurdistan is a people, I will tell you now, so you explain for you. It's a people, the world's biggest people without a state of their own. Uh, 40 to 50 million people that lives in Turkey, Iraq, Iran and Syria. And they lost uh, their chance for independence after the First World War. Uh, and they have fought for independence since then. Well, yeah. uh, for sure I'm gonna learn more when I arrive home. I promise I swear I'm gonna read because I feel interested right now that you told me about it. I wanna know more. I, I'm like that. It's like I don't know something and I'm gonna read it when I have the chance. So thank you. Thank you.